While the fight against New York State's new mask mandate in daycares and summer camps will not stop, a local family looking to get that mandate reversed has raised thousands of dollars to support legal fees for their effort. Channel 2's Jeff Preval has more as Western New York reopens. Well, a Newstead couple with two young children in daycare have now surpassed their online fundraising goal of raising $25,000 to hire a local law firm to fight the mask mandate. Andy and Brittany Smith started a GoFundMe account last week to do just that. They say they do not understand why the mask mandate is needed and believe that masks on very young children will lead to developmental issues. Last week, New York State adopted CDC guidance, which says children two years old and older should wear masks when in public. That guidance has been applied to daycares and summer camps. My whole objective in this was you know, was it not to ask people for money to be part of this. I wanted to, us to come together and, and, you know, and advocate for our kids because we're the only ones that can do that. You know, we have to advocate, advocate for them. Now, children will not need to wear a mask when they're doing such things as swimming, eating, drinking and sleeping. They're also not needed outdoors in high intensity activities or when kids medically cannot tolerate a mask. The state's Office of Children and Family Services says that masks are needed for children under 12 because they are not vaccine eligible and child care programs are still reporting COVID cases. But still, this mask mandate has resulted in a lot of questions and a lot of confusion, particularly for parents and child care providers because this mask mandate was not required last summer. Tonight on Channel 2 News, we'll have more details on the enforcement efforts behind this mass mandate. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.